Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hearthstone. So I was thinking, you know, Showdown went really well when I was in front of a camera. And I need a little bit more MMR before the season ends, just for my own personal gloating reasons. So, why don't we have a video on Hearthstone, huh? Should be fun. You know, give you some insights into how I think. So Hearthstone's a game where you want to buy from the shop to create a board. I'll show you a bit more when we're in there. And use that board in a sort of auto chess fashion to beat up seven other players. So we got Stay Frosty here. Don't worry about it too much. I think I want Sindragosa. Because we can increase the power of our minions in the shop. I should probably not talk about it from the hero stage, but that's usually where I make my decisions and kind of walk myself through why I'm picking things. But can't quite do that when we can't see the effects of what my powers do. So my power is anything that's frozen in the shop gains stats. I freeze it, they become more powerful. So... Everything costs three gold. We start with three gold and we gain a gold each turn. So next will be four, five, six, so on and so forth until 10. So we're gonna grab the strongest minion in the shop, which coincidentally hurts us for grabbing it. So, <laughs> whoops. This is divine shield. It can get hit once and not take any damage. Shrugs off the effects. And this little timer here, it means our turn is up and we go start the battle royal. So we go back and forth hitting each other. He starts with a Wrath Weaver, which means we win the combat. Our minions are added up. We whack them. And when their health reaches zero, they're out of the game in this battle royal. So if we don't freeze the shop, it would refresh with new cards. And um, I'm thinking, right? Do we want to level, get better minions? And keep these frozen or I can grab the little cord polar here and the banana which is a really tempting play our buddy here went up but I think this is just the smartest play we can do so we grab the banana we want to buff divine shield minions early on especially because that's just strong because this is five four but like we get two hits of the five didn't stand a chance The only problem is that we are in the five gold turn, but luckily this tavern spell here lets us grab a random minion from the shop. And we're going to freeze these two. Once we get three of a kind, we can triple them to become golden, which usually doubles their effects. I'm going to love this one being doubled and lets you discover a random minion from a tier higher than what you're on. So these are all tier ones. We'll see some tier twos next turn. This should be fun. Right now in strategic land, the idea is I think I'm just gonna go for these two triples. As much as I really, really hate backstage triple. It's just a lot of power we've been building up. Syndragosa's game plan is to freeze the early shops and just keep buffing them. You don't wanna do anything else with this hero in the early stages of the game. Now, part of the whole strategy for this game is to play around whichever hero you are and that's what i love why i love this auto but auto battler over the other is there's such a strong emphasis on you know your choice your hero choice so i don't want to buff this guy we move on to phase two of the game where we target freeze specific minions like this annoyotron another divine shield the buff where I say, this guy here, he steals minions from other people. So he has a little bit different of a leveling idea, of a play style. Mine is just big stack go birth. No, I'm very much an early game hero. So we're going to win this next combat. I don't see how we lose, especially given this guy leveled. So we're going to get our buddy next turn. Which our little buddy here also is unique to each hero. Gets us a random frozen card in the tavern. So 
we're going to be at 5 gold to level and 7 gold overall. So we sell this guy for 1 gold. We take our buddy and we get the Anoyatron into our hand. A very smart play that gets us higher. Did we even see any level 2s? I think we just saw level 1s when I rerolled. I promised you guys levels 2s. We'll see them. Surely. Yeah, here we go. This one buffs cards in hand. That could be good to grab. I might grab this over the Anoyotron. So we get rid of this guy. Throw in him. Level. And then all we got to do is really think about. Do we want him? Which I kind of like Winterfinner, right? Whenever this takes damage, give a minion in your hand to one. And this adds cards to my hand at the end of each turn. So I think this is the better choice than our little Anoyo here. So we're going to freeze him. It's a bold play. And thinking ahead to next turn, we might just level, right? Because we'll be at 7 gold to level, 8 gold in hand. And we're going to have a very strong board still. I don't know if I beat Scabs, though. That's the million dollar question. Do we have a strong enough board here to beat Mr. I Steal Your Minions? Does he have his buddy? No. I mean, he could have his buddy. Then he gets this guy who is not as useful to him as it is to me. Such as the Scab's Curse. Alright, we have Hunter, Hungry Winterfinner in our hand now. Hey, it's Mr. Demons. He's pretty strong. I don't like it. Alright, I think we're fine though. No, we're not fine. That's unfortunate. But we take minimal damage because he only has a one star left on his board. We're on three. Alright, so if we level to four, I can then roll. And we don't find a four drop, but we do find that triple. You know, the one that hurts. Oh boy. And to this, we can level next turn again and just go right for the six. This is part of what makes Syndragosa so strong. You know, you, you just get that early game tempo, which can lead you to late game greatness. Because the more you take damage, the more careful you have to play. Like, if I'm this guy down here at 26 health, I'm playing a little bit more careful and a little bit more right now than I am playing right as Syndragosa, where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm just leveling to four this turn. Yeah, I'm going to go up there. Why not? You know? Stuff like that. This can also grab tavern spells, which are just other things that do random things. Like, this one turns minions into higher tiers. But we don't want that. We, we want our triple. Plus, playing with this guy, you generally want to go for minions to help fill out your board before you ever touch tavern spells. There are a couple of really good ones you can buy. I'll point those out if we see them. But for now, we're just going to get our backstage security, accept the damage that we're taking, and this guy's feeding us. In fact, we might not be taking damage here. No, he's got this thing replicated up. This is Sneed. This needs fun. One minion turns into two because of a simple math equation called his hero power. Giving minions the ability to just spawn open like they're balloons from a, a certain monkey game. This is gonna hurt. But it's definitely worth it. All right. Tier 6 is the top tier. This is where the strongest minions are. We have three interesting choices. We can take two damage again. Murkai triggers battle cries. That's a joke. Beatboxer is really cool. Whenever you magnetize another minion, these are little magnetic mechs. Magnetize to this too. Very strong build, especially given we're getting one this turn. 
And we already have these two Divine Shield friendos here. So we'll just buff these up and in turn buff our beatboxer up. And we're playing mechs. What are we going to do about this guy? That's my question. So I'm... There we go. I'm ordering like this because there are minions in this game that hit adjacent minions as well. I don't know if if Silas here can get any of them yet, but you know it's always good to order properly. It's a good kind of idea to have in mind. There's really no difference from playing Winterfinner here or over here. Because it's going to die by that point regardless. No, no. Yeah, we lose this combat because we played a little greedy, but we had the health and the early game to afford the greediness. Are we going to win this combat? No, surely not. There is a world where we win. It's not this one. It is. It is this one. We tie, meaning we take no damage. How? Okay. We can play for a Zilliax here. Where we can get three of these and one of them is a magnetic. That sounds like a really bad idea. Because I'm kind of relying on too much. Um, Drakari's cool. We'll grab that. Hey, there's Zilliax number two. Are you still serving? Buff the shop. Clunker Junker. Yeah, I'm going to grab that for next turn. And then we're going to hold on to these trousers here. Clunker Junker is a battle cry. Choose friendly mech. If I had that trigger battle cries, it would be really good for Clunker Junker. But we're just building now. Winterfinner goes out for him, and then when I find the next piece of my combo, whatever that may be, I will get rid of backstage security. This is certainly an interesting idea. Zarina here. Whenever you cast the tavern spell, give your minions plus two attack if they have divine shield. Certainly would be an option. But I don't want to completely freeze the shop. I think we're better suited maybe even leveling next turn if we level roll and then we can sell sell buy and hopefully we get a tier six or something oh oh i could have stolen two minions from the shop i'm throwing i didn't realize my buddy worked like that Anyways, um, this guy's strong. Sure, we are going to take... Until there are four players left, you can only take a max of 15, so we are taking max here. But we're not in a bad situation. I don't hate our spot. We're still very strong. It's just that guy was... Uh, that guy was much stronger. I'm going to stay down because we found a magnetic. Okay. Think. I want to take a triple. That's how I'm going to think. I was hoping for a uh, Merc Guy because he's an end of turn effect of battle cry. And this guy's end of turn. End of turn. So we take two cards. We take them twice. It's one, two, three, four. I mean, it's about if we want this shop or not. I'm going to start buffing this lad up. Demons are in. There's a card on six that lets us resummon that. Divide shield mech. Powerful. And give me a different mech. Okay. Sure. 
sure. All right, now we're going to get a lot of money next turn. I'm playing this first because for air and atrocity, every minion that dies, every friendly minion type that dies is an extra 7-7 seven, seven for its summon. This is both a mech and a beast, so that's 14-14. Fourteen, fourteen. Very strong. Now give me the cards. Thank you. That's terrifying. Yep, he got it. When this attacks and kills a minion, give it some max stats to a minion in hand. Um, that's not my problem. Not right now. This guy... This guy's gonna be an issue though later on. I'm scared. He's someone else's problem though. Go bother someone else. Unfortunately, we can't kill him. We just don't have the firepower. So this is the point where we level and start rolling and just casually get another triple, sure. Interesting. That's a second atrocity. For our purposes, I kind of like it. Let's discover a death rattle. Atrocity is a death rattle. So, nope. Throw this in. Steal everything. And throw in the microbots. Got some bad news for you, though. We don't have the mech beasts dying anymore, so these are significantly weaker. Alas, the things I do. Now I'm thinking. We could just build a scumbag board. Like, if we find triple atrocity, which is what I'm gunning for, we just need a specific demon on six that reads, summons the first demon of yours that died. Which would be these fellas. So we can play around that. That's an option. Unfortunately, we're not really finding a lot of other things. We're getting out of this guy next turn. Our econ, unfortunately, but there's just not room, right? Unless we kick Cord Puller, which is a little strong. Now, uh, hand them over. Hand over the cards. Yeah, this guy is weak. I mean, strong. No, he's weak. He looks very weak. He's all health, no attack. He's trying to buff his demons. He had that Rylag there, along with a battle cry that buffs the shop. Rylag triggers adjacent battle cries. He buffs his shop with health and then uses his demons to eat the shop. But that just gives his demons health. So, bye-bye. Uh, you don't have much more time, do you? Alright. You can uh, buff this guy up with another shield. I'm not a big fan of that. Alright, alright, that's cool. So this is our little friend, Element of Surprise. Element of Surprise triples with any elemental. This is every type of minion. Part one of the plan complete. Okay. These two are really unplayable. This can get us some of these friendly tavern spells. No reason to actually use my hero power anymore. I mean, I guess I could do something like this. This might be the order. I kind of like the demon dying, though, so let's do this. Right, because if the demon can die before that, this is now 14-14 for every type. 
we can get an easy, what is that? Like 38, 42. This is a bit of a weak turn. I will admit we uh, kind of lowered the overall power on the board. Just teensy weensy. But I think we needed to, right? We've got the the shield from dying. We're not going to die this turn. So from there, we need to figure out how to live. Truly, I only give out the smartest words. We're not going to die, so let's figure out how to live. Now, this guy's a problem child. Sets your stats to 3-3. Three, three. The no you. But we got everything we wanted off of it. Oh, it's 56. Does it count itself? It must. Don't even know how these cards work. Making a video. Deflecto reshields from any summon mechs. Let's go Deflecto. And we actually tie the combat up. We could have won the combat. I don't mind. All I care about is not dying here. We can grab one of these for ourselves. Let's see what's in the box first. Let's re-roll what's in the box. That's pretty good. Let's just find more magnetics. That also is affected by end of turn. So right now, what are we looking for? We are looking for the specific demon death rat I was, I've been talking about. Yeah, I like you. Alright, we're gonna end on this beetle power which summons a beetle. And when this guy dies, he gives another friendly minion of another friendly murloc, Venomous, which would be this guy. He's all murlocs, he probably doesn't have Divine Shield. So I want to lead Poison into Bramble. That is probably our best bet. Alternatively, we could say, hey, Bozo, we know you're going to lead something weak, so do this. Or taunt something weak, so I'm doing this. But I don't know if he's going to be taunting something weak. I don't know if I trust that. Kind of like it, though. Call out his taunt for being a weak taunt. Yeah, I called it out. I called it out, all right. We're just one attack too short. No, you're poison. He's a bit weaker than I was expecting. Cool, it worked. Now this guy got an extra type. Now I was playing all strong. I was expecting like this super big Murloc board. And then I just get this thing. Bye, Jailer. Have fun. I don't know why I was expecting that. I know why, because he's top five. You gotta treat people with respect. Alright. How do we get the guy we're looking for? I think we just roll for him. Are we being contested? We aren't. There's no one else. There's no one playing demons. Now that would be a really good card to steal. Turns anything four below golden. We don't have any four. We do have a four below. Sets to 2020. This is really good on a magnetic in the shop. So I'm going to grab it. Do we sell two for it? No. Oh, 
overall not the greatest game, but we got top three. I think I played this fairly well. I didn't find what I was looking for, but maybe I should have picked up Murkai when I saw him in the shop a few turns ago. I think I got a little too tunnel visioned on the, the game plan with this arid atrocity here. But I don't hate the laser focus on that because if I found if I found that one minion that no one else was going for, no one else had. then I would have been in really good shape. So what is this guy, by the way? Max, yeah, I'm definitely leading this guy. And then the Belcher. He's going to have a Divine Shield. Oh, look, I hit the Divine Shield. And now I can two out of three poison something. Yep. I'm too good at this game. Wrong guy. But that's okay. I was so weak. I didn't let his deflecto reset. Oh, the poor kid. Literally outplayed. I mean, we still lose, but... He simply got outplayed here. Yeah, we lose. The question is by how much, right? Because we're not dead. That's the important part. So long as we're not dead, we can still sneak our way into second, potentially. Damage cap is off. How do I play this? I don't think we grab Murkai now. I think it's a little late for that game. I might get rid of Enchantress. I will get rid of you getting rid of the uh, Enchanter. Next. Okay. When I lose, sell for five gold. It's the blue shell. We grab you here. Plus two gold next turn. Plus three gold if I win. Easy. I have a new simplistic plan. Just. I'm still going for the resummon. That's still the game plan. We're just uh, taking a bit of a detour. I don't think that's worthwhile. I'm going to disagree on that. I think we just need to hard roll. What are we hard rolling, actually? Hard roll this guy's thing. We might even get rid of Deflecto. Deflecto is just too weak. Deflecto isn't good enough. Oh, Deflecto, no! Hey, is this guy going to kill them? Did I just strengthen that thing? Yes, I did. Plus one attack. Let's go, Bramble. Alright, anyways. Now that the ghost is down. Let's see our odds of winning. Right? That guy just got erased. How much did he take? 32? Oh, 32! We're dead! This guy is going to kill us. Beast 6, he might be Great Wolf, in which case these two are worthless. Great Wolf being buffs. Do we want that? The answer is yes. Great Wolf buffs all your beasts. Seriously, how is there none of the single minion? Demons are in, right? We took like a ton of damage off of that demon guy earlier this game, right? How? 
Yeah, he's got this guy, Great Wolf. For the rest of the combat, your beast. Why am I able to find the Great Wolf that I know he has on his board? I know he has because he's six beasts, which his seventh minion is called the Baron, which doubles your death rattles. How am I able to find the guy that I know he has before the guy that nobody in this lobby has ever gotten? Uh, it's a little frustrating, right? Yeah, I guess he just doesn't exist. Howdy. Howdy. Well, these two are worthless, but what are you going to do, right? You can't quite stop them. You can't quite help them. You got to sit around and just let things happen. Second place is quite respectable, may I say. Because the best thing you can do is just manage your luck. And my luck says uh, I lose. I'm going to go start with these two guys. Right, get any value I can out of them while I can. Uh, you get no value out of them. Well, his minions are also buffed, so this is just weakening his buffed minions, right? It's not the worst, unfortunately. Not the worst still means I'm dying. That's Gula Cabra. Every time a friendly minion dies, Death Rattle minion dies, he gets 4-4 four, four for all his minions. Oh, wow! He summoned more minions! Cool, anyways, we're dead. Yeah, this is what I expected. I don't know, I, just, I think it's a little bit frustrating to know that I could have easily gotten a singular minion that existed, and then I didn't get him. And whack. GG. Not bad, though. I mean, the rule I have is if the number is yellow, I win. <laughs> if the number go up, serotonin fill brain.